Very working class backgrounds I come from. Um, I don't know if, you, if people really go into too much, but a lot of my family was in and out of prison. A lot of my family, immediate family, were drug addicts or alcoholics. And I remember growing up and walking into a room about five or six and just looking at everyone in the room, just, just being on one for days. And I just thought, there is just not a chance I'm going to end up like this. I, I am not about this life, do you know what I mean? And um, So to make sure that I didn't end up that way, it was the sport, it was football, it was, it was my coaches, um, it was my family changing their life and, and being like, do you know what, we fluffed up there, but this is the way and Molly, you've got to be this way now. And um, I learned how not to be. I learned, you know, monkey see, monkey do isn't always the case. And, um, and, yeah, I just think I learned how to not give up. And, um, and when the chips are down and when I'm fighting and, and the hard times come, um, people who haven't, been, who haven't been through what I've been through would give up in there. That's when you see people, you see Conor McGregor, he fought Nate Diaz and when it go and got tough, he, he give himself up and he tap. Like, you're never gonna see that from me. You'll never see that from Tony, you'll never see that from none of us. A common taxi drive I get, I have to convince, I feel like I have to convince someone um, about what we do. And they've still got an old conception of, uh, old perception, sorry, of brutal, raw, um, barbaric, like there's loads of words that you, that negative press that you can give mixed martial arts, but what mixed martial arts really is, is it's dedication, it's discipline. There's no cheating it. Um, you can't cheat the grinds. You can't, you can't cheat having to learn seven, eight different disciplines because when you get in that cage and that door's locked, it's you and that other person. So are you gonna get embarrassed from everyone because you haven't took the time to learn each craft? Or are you gonna immerse yourself in ev every, every form of discipline um, that you can and go in well prepared. Um, this has been a lifetime work to get to the position that I'm in. And when you look at our class, what you've just watched, we've, we've gone everywhere from bits of um, jiu-jitsu, wrestling, boxing, Thai boxing, a little bit of karate kicking, a little bit of taekwondo. Um, we've kind of done it all. So um, it is pure dedication, pure discipline. I think the perception's changing, the sport's growing, and if you look at the demographic who come to watch me, it's women, kids, men, and, and older men and women. When I finish a session in here, um, if I'm doing sprints or going for a longer run, I'll run to Everton Valley, and I'll do the sprints in the valley or if I'm going for a longer run, I run to Goodison, run round it and come back. Like I always touch Dixie and then come back. And um, it's great because when I'm running down that road, I just hear like boop, 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 boop. It's always the workies, it's always people round the ground, it's always the staff. Um, yes, meatball. And like when your legs are really tired, I can't tell you what it's like to cut the amount of weight that I cut because men don't even do it in boxing, do you know what I mean? Just MMA fighters cut a little bit of a bigger weight. Um, it's really nice to see that kind of thing and, and have the, the, the people support, the people's champ. And it makes it a lot easier and, and when the days are tough and you feel like you can't give no more and, and you just you sometimes contemplate like why am I doing this? You've only got to have a conversation with someone who supports you and it's like hang on a minute let me just get that chip off my shoulder do you know what I mean? I was walking past the cafe the other day like Oh, I'd give anything for a bacon and egg sandwich. And, and Canny went to me, um, I'd give anything to be you. And it really puts things in perspective, do you know what I mean? So, yeah, it's good, it's good. I just feel like I'm ready. Um, everything's happened at the right stage in my life. If this would have come four years previous, I would have, I would have fluffed it up. I weren't mentally ready. I weren't at that right time in my life. I didn't have the knowledge base that I do now. And now I feel like I'm on a level where this fight's going to propel me to, to 
You don't even know if the next one could be a world title. You don't know if that could be the fight that gets me to the world title. I've got a four fight deal and, and I'm telling you, if I get two knockouts, the third will be the title, if, if not the second.